see my pale arms. There we go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a like how I take care for my extensions slash how I store my extensions slash ways that you can take care and also store for your, your extensions so that they last long. So I am pretty much an avid wearer of hair extensions. I don't wear them every single day, but I do wear them quite often. And I really have you know, noticed over the years of having extensions of kind of what works and what doesn't in terms of like maintaining the quality of the extensions um, and sort of things to do, not to do, all of that sort of stuff and different ways and different products that you can kind of incorporate into your hair routine when taking care of extensions so that they last, you know, a good amount of time. So uh, my hair extensions that I have on right now are from Hair Secrets Extensions. They're the ultimate volume set in the shade It Was All A Dream and I have a full review of these extensions so I will link that in the description box down below so that you can go check that out and kind of see what I think about these extensions in particular. But the first thing that I want to talk about in terms of like the quality of extensions is firstly the type of extensions that you're getting. Now if you're somebody that doesn't really want to wear extensions for a very long period of time and maybe you're just going to an event or a wedding or something like that then obviously getting like cheap synthetic hair extensions that aren't real hair is probably the best bet for you. But if you're someone that's going to wear hair extensions quite regularly or maybe you just you know want to wear them quite often it is definitely an investment to get hair extensions that are 100% human hair. The ones that I normally tend to get, and this is just because I guess this is sort of like the typical type of hair that most hair extension companies carry, is Remy Indian Hair. It is human hair, and it basically just means that the hair can be styled to pretty much any heat degree. Um, it can be coloured, it can be cut, all of that sort of stuff. With, synth with synthetic hair that's fake, uh, and not real hair obviously it can't really be dyed or really like you can't really use a lot of heat on it because it's just going to like pretty much fall off or break and all that sort of stuff whereas with human hair you can obviously do it with that so I would definitely invest in getting 100% human hair extensions they are obviously more expensive than some of the cheaper non-human hair or sometimes they have like half real hair half synthetic hair but I think human hair extensions uh, definitely work a lot better and of course they look a lot more natural as well. The next thing I want to talk about with hair extensions that I think is really important is getting hair extensions that um, are already sort of the same color as your own hair. Now this isn't necessarily a big deal because if you have human hair extensions a lot of the time you can dye them. They always recommend to dye them darker, not bleach them or lighten them because of course the hair is essentially dead even though it's real hair it's dead, it's not growing so it's not going to kind of get back to a healthy stage if you bleach it and it's probably just going to like break off and be really damaged and really dry and brittle. But I would really recommend to not colour your hair extensions just from personal preference and experience. Obviously I understand sometimes it's kind of hard but I think when you don't touch them and you don't color them on top of what they already are they last a lot longer um, I've had hair extensions before that were like bleach blonde I had them toned and darkened to a darker blonde and then I went brunette and I had them dyed to brown and they just were not the best quality at the end of the day um, the blonde would even sometimes seep through so it looked like I had gray hairs and it just really wasn't the best um, quality and they didn't last a very long time at all. So I really recommend that you send a picture of your natural hair to the hair extension company. A lot of them will suggest that you do that and then they can match you up with a colour based upon the picture that you've sent to them that's going to best fit whatever shade they think. Um, that's what I did with these hair extensions and they match pretty much perfectly to my natural hair. Um, I just think it's a lot better. I just think that it, the quality is so much better. They're not dry, they're not damaged if you don't go in and color them yourself or you know get a hairstyle to do it of course there are healthy ways to color hair and if you're going you know a shade or two darker it's fine but just personal preference I would definitely say try and find a hair extension color that already matches your hair so that you don't have to touch it so the next thing I want to talk about and this is a huge deal with hair extensions but it's about shedding um, a lot of the time you know with hair extensions they will shed a little bit because the hair is obviously dead but there are ways to kind of eliminate shedding these hair extensions that I have in my hair are really really great when it comes to shedding they barely do it at all but there are a few things that I really recommend that you get to eliminate shedding because obviously the less shedding that you have the more thick your hair will remain it's not going to look thin it's not going to be separated in different areas and it's going to look a lot healthier so the first thing I, thing I recommend getting is a really really good hairbrush now 
You can buy hair brushes that are for extensions and also they have things like the Tangle Teaser which are meant to be really, really good. This is a brush that I got from my last set of hair extensions and it's a loop brush and there's hair in it so it sorts about that. But as you can see, uh, actually I don't know if you can see, but the bristles aren't like pointed, they're looped over and then they go into the brush. So basically this brush isn't going to get really, really bad tangles out of the hair but it just kind of brushes over the hair and helps to smooth it out and get rid of any kind of like simple knots without ripping at the hair because the bristles are bended and curved into the brush it's not very harsh on the hair at all and it just kind of like brushes out the hair without ripping out hair like a normal brush would so I really recommend getting these. I don't know where you can buy these particular loop brushes, but if you type in loop brush on like eBay or just online, then you know, you, you, they probably show up. Also with shedding and just with general storage of your hair extensions, I used to use, um, I used to keep my hair extensions in a shoe box, which was good because it kind of, you know, helped them make sure that they didn't get dusty and like, you know, the light wouldn't come in and lighten them. But the only problem with keeping them in a shoe box was that they were sitting on top of each other and especially if they were tangled and I hadn't brushed them out, they would just all kind of tangle and clump up into one another which would 100% make it just so much harder to brush out, the hair would pull out and it would just be a complete rat's mess. So I love these hangers here, this one is from Bellamy Hair and this is a pink one, you can get a black one as well I'm pretty sure, um, but it just has a little hook here that you undo and then it's like a little clamp and I'm pretty sure you can buy coat hangers like this just in stores but I just wanted to get one specifically for hair extensions and all you do is you just pop your hair extensions um, in here, it's a little difficult to do but once you get the hang of it it's fine, close it up, hook it back on and then your hair extensions are hanging from this and then you can just hang them up somewhere, I hang them on my door. You can also buy ones that have like a case so that you can travel with them and you can pop them in so that they're covered. But for me, I just kind of like these ones. I really, really like this. Um, what it basically does is it just obviously makes it easier for me to just hang my extensions up and I don't have to worry about them tangling in my shoe box. But also it's easy to just brush through them. So once I've you know taken my hair out or before I put my hair in, I just kind of give them a little brush through. And because they're hanging vertically, they don't tangle as much as when they're like sitting on top of each other all bundled up. So I really recommend these. It was only $9.95, so it is quite cheap. And also I find with doing uh, and putting hair extensions in shoe boxes and in bags and all that sort of stuff. Sometimes it can lead to matting where the hair kind of mats up at the roots and the clips and that can lead to the hair being separated and looking really, really thin and unnatural. So hanging them up on something like this is really, really great. The next thing I want to talk about is shampooing, conditioning your hair and washing them. So the more you wash your hair extensions, the um, not worse that they're going to get, but the less good quality they're going to get because as I said, the hair's already dead. It's not getting all of those natural oils back into the hair. So when you shampoo and condition it, it's going to kind of strip um, you know, the hair and make it a little bit more dry. And of course, also if you have um, dyed your hair extensions, the more you wash and shampoo it and condition it, the more the color's going to fade. So I typically, I don't even really know when I wash my extensions to be honest with you. If you're wearing extensions every single day, I'd probably recommend trying to wash them like once a month maybe or maybe even more than that. I know if you're wearing hair extensions all the time, especially if you're putting a lot of product in your hair extensions, it's going to be kind of difficult. That's where these sorts of things come in really great because you can kind of like try and brush through all the product and it just kind of hangs and then you can brush it through and it makes it easier. But I really recommend if you're not wearing them that much, like I only really wear my extensions when I film or when I'm like going out somewhere. Um, that's, you know, I'm going out somewhere for like a full day and I want to put them in, but I don't really wash them very much because it's just going to dry them out. So try not to wash them very often. And then also I recommend using some sort of a hair oil. This is just the one from L'Oreal. It's the Extraordinary Oil and it smells really, really good. And it's just a hair oil and just popping this into your hair, um, you know, just whenever you feel like it, like if you do wash it, popping this in after you've washed it while it's wet and helping it soak in, it'll just help to keep the extensions looking shiny and looking nourished and moisturized because as I said, the hair is dead and it's not getting any natural oils from the roots obviously. So going in and putting in oils is just going to help it soak into the hair and kind of make it a little bit more softer and look a little healthier. So I definitely recommend using some sort of a hair oil. Also, you can pop this in before you straighten your hair just to make it look a little bit nice and a little bit more shinier but I love hair oils and I think that they're really really awesome to use um, on your extensions because you need to kind of put oil from somewhere into your hair extensions since 
you're, they're not getting the oil like your own hair so going and doing that every now and again or even every single time that you wear your extensions and just kind of popping a little bit in to make them nourished um, is really really great that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys soon bye